to another week of online story time at the Dover Library. Hope you're all having a great day. Okay, let's get started. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, we're gonna count. Help me out, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woo! All right, so let's find out what day it is. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yesterday was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And tomorrow is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right, we're gonna do our weather. So get started, get ready, help me sing. <clears throat> Here we go. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it stormy? Is there a rainbow out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it snowy? Is it rainy out today? Look out the window where you are and tell me what you see. I see today a little bit of clouds and a little bit of sun. So that's what we're gonna put on today. All right. Okay, get set. I've got some stories for you. <clears throat> okay, so here's the first book I have. It's called, If You Ever Wanna Bring an Alligator to School, Don't by Elise Parsley. If your teacher tells you to bring something from nature for show and tell, she means a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks. She does not want you to bring an alligator. If you bring an alligator anyway, she'll tell you that alligators are trouble. You'll tell her that it's okay and that you know all about alligators. This alligator will be quiet and good and he won't eat anyone cross your heart. But during spelling, your teacher will hear laughing. This is because the alligator will be showing you funny pictures. Your teacher will write your name on the board, Magnolia. And now you'll have to stand last in line for lunch. You'll take away the crayons and tell the alligator to be quiet and wait for show and tell. Then during art, an airplane will fly across the room. This is because the alligator will be showing you origami. Your teacher will draw a check by your name. And now you'll have to stay in from recess. You'll take away the paper and order the alligator to be good and wait for show and tell. During math, you'll notice the alligator is hungry. Uh-oh. You'll give the alligator three pieces of your favorite gum and beg him to not eat anyone and for Pete's sake to wait for show and tell. The good thing is that you'll stop him from eating and the kids. The bad thing is that the alligator will smack and twirl the gum. And your teacher will notice. She'll draw two more checks by your name and an underline. Now you'll have to go to the principal's office after school. During lunch, you won't even to get to eat your egg and cheese sandwich because somebody will gobble up everything but the crust. By now, of course, you'll wish you'd brought a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks for show and tell instead of an alligator. By now, you'd rather have some dirt than an alligator 
You will wish this alligator would just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. First, at show and tell, you'll sit quietly and learn about hollow sticks and bird nests and sparkly rocks. Then it'll be your turn. You'll tell how alligators are super big, whoa, 12 feet tall, and how alligators have over 74 super sharp teeth, and how alligators are super tough. It's a fact. They're strong and they're tough, and they aren't scared of anything except other alligators and humans. Booga, booga, booga! Your teacher will be impressed. You might not even have to go to the principal's office for all the mischief that day. But then again, you might have to. Yeah, if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. They're trouble. <laughs> Lots of trouble. He's hiding in a locker. <laughs> that was a cute one. Okay, the next book I have is called Reading Makes You Feel Good. Oh, by Todd Parr. Reading makes you feel good because you can imagine you are brave princess or scary dinosaur. Help, help, save me! You can learn about cool places and people. Book reports are due on Friday. You can make a new friend. And you can do it anywhere. Reading makes you feel good because you can learn how to make pizza. Mm, yummy. You can find your favorite animal at the zoo. You can make someone feel better when they are sick. You can travel to faraway places. And you can do it anywhere. Reading makes you feel good because you can do it all by yourself. Looks like a library. You can learn how to take care of your pet. You can follow signs on the road. You can share a book with anyone. And you can do it anywhere. Bookmobile. And that's the end. All right, well, I hope you like these stories this week. I hope everybody's having a great day and we'll see you all real soon. Bye.